Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at part two of Microsoft Office Professional 2010, the beta. Part two today is just a quick overview of Microsoft Word. Okay, so here's the beta. I'm just gonna launch it here for the first time and you'll get the screen that it's setting it up for the first time, of course. And then we'll get right into it. I already typed in some text in this document to make things quick. PC Wiz gets Tech Talk, as you can see. I like the search feature. Okay, that's one thing that I noticed right off the bat, the search. I use the search a lot, so um, if I type in a keyword here at the top, PC WizKid, then uh, it'll highlight multiple instances if you have a really long document, show you a thumbnail view, show you the text, the paragraph, and you can quickly edit it uh, and uh, and then do your do your your rest of your editing. So that's one thing that I wanted to show you. The other thing I wanted to show you under the file tab ribbon at the top here, there's the permissions, so you can actually uh, control, password protect, um, and uh, basically set up the restrictions on how you want that document shared. Also, the um, check for issues, so backwards compatibility, for example, with other versions of Office, so no no problems will be there. So that's pretty cool. And version control, so let's say you forgot to save your document and it crashed for some reason. Well, you can recover it from a draft, so it's almost like an auto-save type of feature. So that's pretty cool as well. The uh, ribbon interface at the top and the quick links here at the top are pretty neat. We've seen the ribbon interface, which is now enhanced further, but the quick links here are pretty pretty nice. You can um, actually add or remove these shortcuts that appear here at the top. So I can add email, for example, and it will appear up here. So that way I don't have to toggle and go between all the tabs. I can access what I use the most. Now, you can customize everything that you see here, of course, and remove anything that you don't usually use and get rid of it. So that's not a problem. But uh, all of these features are pretty straightforward. We've seen them in previous versions of Office, nothing uh, new there, except for this one, for example. I like this uh, styles feature here, like reflection and different types of uh, uh, styles that you can apply quickly to your text, which normally would take uh, quite a bit of time to do. So it's a time saver right there. Being able to flip between different things on the fly and see, the, uh, see how it would look without necessarily applying it yet, that's pretty nice. I like how it's fast. It's definitely fast. It's, you can tell that it, it's much more lightweight on the system. So uh, accessing features that uh, are common, colors, fonts, the way your paragraph is set up, all of that fast, right? So um, of course I am using a newer PC, but if you saw my part one video on the uh, review, the requirements for Office are quite low. Okay, so you can actually install this no problem on your older PC. Now features, well these features are still the same, right? Pictures, clip art. Smart art is a little bit new, okay? Smart art, you can add already predefined um, charts and graphics that uh, normally would take you quite a bit of time to create from scratch. So that would be a time saver if you're doing a presentation or you're doing a, a, a large document or or an article or something like that. So it has tons of neat, um, neat graphs basically that you could add in there. Uh, as well as flowchart type of st stuff, you know, if you used Visio or Publisher, stuff like that. A lot of screen capturing uh, uh, support, which is pretty good. Footers, headers, all that stuff is still the same. Templates, I like the templates that, that it comes built in with, right? Obviously, they're up to date. So these uh, templates are newer. Makes things quicker for you to, um, to add and um, modify your documents. So um, yeah, a lot of this stuff, you know, is, is repeated throughout the... Um, throughout some of these links and you could probably access uh, certain fonts and things like that from different tabs as well as you can see here but uh, page layout gives you you know the orientation the margins the columns how you want to set up uh, your page basically and um, watermarks for example there's another common thing that you might want uh, to use when you have it in draft page color border stuff like that um, I like the preview feature as well print and previewing is pretty neat in um, 2010 uh, it's quick References uh, for your table of contents, so references tab here on the ribbon is uh, for setting that up, your table of contents, mailings tab here at the top is for uh, your mailing labels, right, if you're doing sending a lot of envelopes, uh, review, for spell check, research, the research actually connects online, so if you're researching for something, you can do a search on it and uh, get some information that later on you can add to your document, so that's pretty good how it's integrating more with the web in, in various different ways, of course. Um, you can still translate, select languages, all that stuff. That hasn't really changed. That's still the same in here. And um, and of course, you can share the documents, show the, the changes, accept, reject them, and, and so forth. And that's one of the strengths about the Office 2010 now, being able to share and create documents on the web. And uh, people can um, 
basically work with it uh, at the same time and um, and not necessarily have to use your uh, your word your locally locally installed version right so you can work off the web too so that's pretty neat um, so that's uh, word here in a nutshell 2010 beta so I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching